we found this massage lady on the street and we decided to follow her up here. We are back in Cusco after that nice long ride from the jungle. I'll give you an outfit of the day. <laughs> So hot in here, I'm like dying. It's I can't really breathe. It smells really weird in here. Um, but uh, so we found this massage lady on the street, um, and we decided to follow her up here. It smells very strange in here, but we're getting an authentic Incan, Incan massage. But the smell is very overwhelming. Um, we're kind of in this box. Uh, I bark kind of feels moldy, in here, but I think that this is going to be a really good massage because I feel like it's going to be authentic, like. They wouldn't be able to stay in business with this type of setup without giving a really good massage. We're naked. <laughs> we're naked. We fought a revolt just in this random massage place in Cusco. So, so we just finished our Incan massage. It was great. It was like 25 per person. Just great price for an hour. I look crazy right now. We have to go out to the airport really fast now, but that was like one of the best massages I've ever had. So highly recommend. We are at market today and we're going to have an authentic experience cooking with a local that lives here. Taste and the food. For me. Okay. Uh, oh, this is good. It's not in It doesn't have sugar. Oh, you can that It's like a natural. It's kind of like a... It kind of tastes mola mola like kind of like molasses. What's it made out of? From the tree called Alarro. A tree. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what this is. What does it taste like? He wants to know your name. He wants to know your name. Uh, Victoria? The, for the YouTube. Ah, oh, Victoria Rose? <laughs> I can write it. It tastes like candy, like a... Like a caramel? Yeah. See, yeah. see. Because mom has to sit on. Very sweet mango. Delicious. Very nice and ripe. Yeah. It's good to be. It looks very good. Right. Mm. It's really, really good. It's very fresh and it's sweet and a little bit salty. You like it? It's very good. The mango is so ripe. Yeah. You like it? It's really yummy. It's great. Mm. Yeah? No. Olives? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dehydrated olives. Oh, okay. Moya. Okay. Green, but okay. green. Soft. Specially made this kind of pisco, which is acholao, before mixing. This is called a pisco sour or no? No, no. This no. is different. What's this, this called? Chilcano. Chilcano. Chilcano is like very simple. I don't really like Miraflores yeah, very much. I, I it's, it's very city, it's very expensive and city. Um, expensive. Yeah. And, and you know what? Like it's a very um, sometimes get violent. We are here in the La Fiera market. And there's live music. I just got tacos from this Tex-Mex place, which is muy bien, and did a little shopping around here. But this is a very nice place. We're in Barranco right now. Um, highly recommend if you're ever in Lima. I think Barranco is way better than um, Miraflores, where we're at. But yeah, just take a look around. It's really nice.
It sounds Spanish, I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> I want to see if this is if this is sterling silver, which it's probably not. Steel? Steel. Oh, okay, okay. Gracias. <laughs> People are still protesting and also the people that are staying home are making noises with pots and pans and stuff. It's very interesting. Uh, it's for gas prices. Very interesting. So I'm getting a tattoo right now of um, a snake. This kind of spontaneous decision because I, I didn't know what to get here in Peru. This leg is gonna kind of be like a reptile leg. So I'm having the artist here draw up a snake tattoo in red ink. I thought that'd be fun. Ganando tampoco a nivel Sudamérica. I don't know where to look or how to find yeah. places. So... There's a lot of tattoo shops though around here. So we, we didn't know about like our Google reviews. You didn't know about before, them? Before March. Like we don't oh. pay attention. Or oh, we... that's what I think that's how most people find yeah. places these days. Yeah, because of these like like all the COVID curfew and stuff. No, siéntate. Acompáñanos en nuestro aquí. Bueno, buenos días. It's light in here. It's a mess. Absolute mess. Um, today I'm leaving. I was gonna say Colombia. I'm leaving Peru. I'm just like, <laughs> it's really hard changing your living situation every month because you forget where you're at sometimes. And sometimes I'll be like, yeah. I don't know where I'm at. I'm in South America somewhere. Anyways, I wanted to show you an update on the tattoo that I got. Look at it. It's so cool. I like it. He did a great job. They're so fast. They're so fast tattooing in South America so far. From my experience, the two tattoos I got. There's like a hundred sixty dollars or something. I need to sort my life. It is very unsorted right now. Look at these nails. Got my nails done. They're really long, they're really bothering me. One of them's about to break off. I can only be a, a nice proper lady for so long, you know? Uh, Mex Mexico! Going to Mexico now. I'm um, gonna stay there for just a couple weeks. And then I need to just do something entirely different in my life. Uh, I'm gonna try to travel to South Korea. I'm putting it out there so you guys know that's my goal and that's what will happen. But I'm, there's a lot of concerns I have. We'll get to that then. And we'll get there and I'll live my cyberpunk dreams again because South America is not very cyberpunk. And I've been feeling, I've been feeling a lot of things. I've been feeling very burnt out. I've been feeling, I've done a lot, especially in Peru. And I haven't even filmed some of the things I've done. I've done a lot. And I, sometimes I don't even feel like filming because I'm traveling and doing so much. So I'm like, I need to slow down. So after Latin America, we're going to change things up. Also, I wanted to say tattoos in Peru, what I learned, they're unregulated. Like you don't need any type of certification. You don't need anything like they're not regulated. So when you're getting tattoos in foreign countries, it's good to know the, this information. Take that how you will. Chance it if you want. I'm a little sad today because my YouTube's doing trash again. And you know, this happens, I go through phases. If it, if it fails, it's like not my fault. I'm putting myself out there and this is me. And if people don't like it, then it's like there's not much else I can do. And at least I'm happy that I'm doing what I feel okay about rather than just doing things for views. This baby's coming to get me. <laughs> Bye. 
good stuff. <laughs> It is time to go. It is three in the morning and I don't know if I said this or not, but my back got this really bad pain. It's really hard to walk a long period of time because it's just like a sharp pain in my shoulder, I think from carrying around my backpack too much. So it's really cramping my style and cramping my back. So I don't like it. Um, I'm all alone now here. It feels weird. I think I'm the last one to leave here in Lima. Um, have my all my suitcases. I'm gonna head to the airport and hopefully everything goes smoothly. I am going to Mexico, which does not require any COVID tests. So let's leave Peru. That was Peru. I hope you enjoyed it. We did a lot of things. I feel like we got, we got some things accomplished, some big things. So I'm happy with the trip. Oh, also I got this shirt. I don't believe in humans. Sometimes I just hate airports because it depends on who you get. But like, I had a, purchase a flight from Mexico for an ongoing flight and I was like sitting there, oh god this line is so long so anyways I spent half an hour on the floor because they made me have an ongoing flight sitting there trying to order this flight in Spanish and I can't read anything so I keep redoing it okay, everything was messing up the internet was slow and I finally get this stupid flight hold on I need to check my bags half an hour finally ordered the flight in Spanish and then I got up to the, the, the lady again a different lady and she didn't even ask for it like she literally like the other lady's like no you need to put this in because if you don't i can't board you or whatever the other lady she didn't even ask for it but she's like your suitcase is too heavy but i'm like but i have two suitcases together it's the same weight same thing she's like no i'm like but it's the same fucking thing i was really pissed at this point i don't think she likes me i usually don't lose my cool but today um yeah it's been a day my taxi was 40 minutes late and um, I don't like being late. I just want to go home and pet my dog. Just relaxed. don't need anything to go there. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> just honestly, traveling's exhausting, especially the way I've been doing it lately. It's just been a lot of traveling. So I also didn't really cut my bank straight. Uh, anyways, life's good. Stay positive, like me.